if you clicked on this video, there's a very good chance you are watching way too much self-development content. It almost feels like rewarding. You're sitting there like, yes, you're achieving so much by watching another video and another video and another video. And whilst, yes, I do agree that you are learning a few things, I think it's actually very wise to learn from another man's perspective and even his mistakes. But there's a more effective way to go around it. So what you probably currently do is you're watching like playlists at a time or running through many different creators' videos or whatever you're doing. But you would agree, a more effective approach is to watch like one or two videos, apply it. Watch another one or two videos, apply it. And so you carry on. You learn a concept, then apply it. Practice makes perfect. And obviously, yeah, you do need to know what to do up front, so you do need to watch some videos. But watching all of these, just a straight flow, is not the best way for you to learn. Now, it actually would benefit me if you watched all my videos in one shot. It boosts my analytics, boosts my algorithm, does all of that good stuff. How's my channel be found by more people and whatever. But that's not what's benefiting you most. You probably know that. So what I urge you to do is watch a video, sit with a notepad even, and think, okay, I can apply it in this scenario here, I can apply this scenario here. Then go out and do it, whether it's the same day, next day, whatever. Go about and do it, keep it even on your phone, maybe. So you have like a reminder of the fact that you should be doing whatever it is. So say I talk about in the video how to make your girl feel more loved as an example. And then in that video I speak about, okay, you need to be present with her. Say now you can see your girl tomorrow. Make a note somewhere on your phone, on your notepad, whatever it is. And remind yourself on the date with her, be more present with her. So now cool, you've ticked that off. You're on the date with her, you're more present with her, had a great date with her. Good stuff. Now you come and watch another one of my videos and I say, learn her love language. So now you message her immediately after that video and ask her to do the love language test. I linked it in that video. So now you know what a love language is, cool. You then go ahead and learn how to like love better for that love language. I gave a general overview in my video, but you can of course dive deep into the matter by doing research online. Cool, you've accomplished that side of things now. Now I'll speak about the fact that you need to like learn how to hold them in a particular way to like elevate the polarity between you guys. Now cool, you do it on the next date. And so you carry on bolding like this. But say you now watch all my videos, you learn all of these points. You only can do maybe half of them, probably less of them, when you see your woman again. So now you've invested all of your time into watching my videos. But you don't really get the full benefit of them. So I think, the, as I said, the better way for you to go about it is to do it like in a step-by-step -step process, very methodical. That's going to give you much better results, bro. I'll see you in the next one. It's becoming a bit of a...